Well, we were married in 1982. We had a great life, raised three boys. Then in uh, 2003, my wife was diagnosed with glioblastoma multiforme, brain cancer. It's one of the worst ones. Uh, we just couldn't take care of her at the end. It was, uh, it was too much for us. I had uh, one son in high school, two in college. We had first moved down south as a family unit to think that as a family unit we could take care of my mom. It was a 24 hour a day job. I would find myself walking around crying and not even realizing it. We were searching and searching for an appropriate place. She had brain tumor diagnosed. Uh, they said that she would have six months to a year to live. I knew Rosary Hill, I've heard of it. At that time, I didn't really know. And it was like a, a God put us here. We happened upon Rosary Hill strictly by luck. And the minute I walked in, I wasn't here ever. It was like I was able to breathe. As soon as you walk in the doors, you could feel the love, you could feel the peace. The sisters treat the residents like it's their mother. When she came here, though, with uh, one of the sisters, who was Sister Camilla, took care of her. And she, right away, they talked. They were like this. Until you enter the doors here and see what the sisters do and what it's all about, uh, there's nothing like it on earth. It's almost an agape love and it's grace. And it's something where you could feel it. At the end, you know, the sisters were there with her, all saying prayers for her. And it's, you know, you're like in heaven. My wife wasn't able to do a lot at the end when she was here, but the sisters are caring for the patients almost one on one. The dedication is there, the love, the support for the family. That's the way this place operates. It's almost, it's almost like a family that they don't just take care of the resident, they take care of the family. It comes from up above. That's where the sisters get their strength. They're in the chapel every day praying for the residents, praying for their families, and that's where they get what they need. They're like angels on earth. They really are. It's more than a job. I, I don't think they figure it out as a job. I think they just do it for love.